You're listening to. You are listening to. You're listening. Yo, what up, bitches? You're listening to Hey Poopy Podcast. Get your shit on. Hey Poopy, how you doing? Hey Poopy, how you doing? I'm Matt Lenore. I'm just, you know, trying to find a place with like-minded people to talk about like-minded things about me or about poop and stuff. Hey Poopy, how you doing? Oh man, what's this right here? Is this, this is a podcast about poop? And now, the Hey Poopy Podcast with Dave and Ellen. Yes, you know what day it is. It's Dump Day! <laughs> hey everybody, this is Hey Poopy Podcast with Dave and Ellen, and this is episode 57, but it'll always be number two to us. And we have a great episode for you guys today. Yeah, we do. We have our guest, Tina Lovely, Reiki Master and Gong Master. <laughs> You're a double master. I'm a yeah. double master. Yeah, I like that. She's also married to my cousin, so technically she's my relative. Nice. Yeah. Legally, Keep it in yes. The fan. Keep, yes. Keep it in the fan. <laughs> nice. All right. Second cousin because I have no first cousins. Oh, well, still, you know, cousin's a cousin. cousin yeah. Cousin's a cousin. Well, um, since we just started, oh. I. Oh, you know what? We're going to do our check in, and I have a pretty okay. good check in today. Ooh. Um, but our guests always go first. Yeah, so. yeah. So we're going to check in. So how have your poops been, Tina? Rushed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just like, you know, living in, we talked about this on the way over, living in an apartment with one bathroom and three humans. And when you got to go, you're banging on the door. Like, oh, hurry up. And then when you're in, someone's banging on the door. Hurry up. It's so. the worst. Yeah. It is pretty bad. Well, we yeah. gave you a Bristol stool chart. Tell us <laughs> what does what does your okay. poo-poos look like by number? Mm. Oh man, can I be a combination? I feel yeah, like? yeah. I mean, I literally every week I go through one through seven. I would say chicken nuggets mixed with porridge maybe i don't know something. so you're like five to six <laughs> that looks bad that, that actually looks like i shouldn't be it's not the best <laughs> it's like, not take, the best you're like, like, let me take that back uh, wait a second it's I not mean, the best but it, it's not the worst you're you're at least on the looser side which i am more for getting yeah. it out versus being constipated and oh yeah no I pinching off be. ones yeah, I don't, well, I, this is what I will say is that my body has changed recently and hot sauce, like I used to be able to consume it and now it's a thing where I like, it's changed oh, yeah. my, it's changed oh. a lot. Yeah, it's happening. I, mean, I, can, I still eat hot sauce, but it definitely has affected me a lot differently. Mm-hmm. Isn't older. that weird? I mean, we're all in our 40s here and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Remember that bullshit we ate in our 20s and like we're bounced right back, no problems? Now we have like a list of stuff. No, nope, oh, can't yeah, do that. that. Can't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. If it's, I eat that, that's going to fuck me up. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Or I'm like, I'll eat that. I know that tomorrow won't be so great, but yeah. yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, literally. Like, you'll be like, hmm, I want buffalo wings. What am I doing tomorrow? <laughs> what are, yeah. Do I have anything I have to do? <laughs> <laughs> you just hit that crescendo spot where it's like, this, you can no longer handle this. There's like one spot. It's like, look. A little I will bit's fine. eat this food, but I have to get up a half an hour early to, to make sure, sure I yeah. shit it all out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know, and the sad thing is, it's just going to get worse. Oh in our fifties, sixties, seventies, and eighties, it's just. Gonna, I mean, like this is not like we're in our forties right now. This isn't like the peak. This no. is just we're on the downward the back nine. Yeah, <laughs> the backslide. Yeah. We're sliding down to Shitsville. I mean, you're like, you know. You got all that awesome stuff out of the way when you were younger, and now it's just kind of like we got to take it away from you. <sighs> we we'll didn't even find, appreciate we'll it. We'll find back something then. else. Yeah, yeah. So. What about you, Dave, with your epic check-in? I mean, well, it, okay. So yesterday, I, I had some. I went to a friend's place on Sunday, um, Coochie. She made this amazing. She's like the amazing chef. So she made this ins- insane spread, and we had fried chicken, which Ooh. fried chicken is one of my favorites. But it definitely, like, you know, it affects my stomach. And then I went to like, a, a, right after that, I rushed home, went to a Oscar's party next door. And my neighbor, I felt bad because he made all this food. So we had to eat it. I was already stuffed from the dinner. So I had like some garlic bread mm. and then like pasta with like uh, meat sauce, which Ooh. I'm not a huge fan of, but whatever. I ate it. 
and they made cheese puffs and I was like oh my god and what then the cheese puff? it's like a little baked um, I actually have some in oh. the thing they're delicious I mean he okay. makes them homemade they're really good wow. so then the next day I had a piece of leftover chicken and uh, some popcorn and then <laughs> popcorn always yeah, fucks and then this shit something, up. No, I'm sorry. That was that was yeah. So that was that was Monday. Monday, no Tuesday. This was happened. Yeah. So Monday I had some more chicken, and then Tuesday yesterday I had <laughs> another piece of chicken. I'm just like doling. It's like a small piece, but still. And then I had some popcorn, and then I Is went this for my fried run. Fried chicken or regular fried chicken? chicken? Oh lord. And then um, I went for this run uh, yesterday, which was really intense, and. I like came so close to shooting my pants. I almost <laughs> my pants. I was gonna say I did. I mean, I, mean, I guess it's not that so epic, but like it came so fucking close. Like I really okay. Tell us how close. Like where, I ran. Luckily, I ran. Where did to, you go? I was in Prospect Park doing my thing. It was like okay. What they call an out and back. So we ran like two miles out, two miles back, and then we got to the top of the park. We had to run like really fast to like a uh, like a quarter mile, oh, and then geez. cool down back up the hill. So it was. You know, it was like four and a half, whatever miles. And then like during like, I don't know, mile two, I thought like, and I wasn't anywhere near a bathroom and I thought, for, I mean, it was, I was just holding my butt cheeks so hard I was running <laughs> and then I had to run faster on the way back. So it was just like a nightmare. And then I got to the top of the park and I almost just ran into the library because <laughs> it was still open luckily. And then it took a huge dump. But luckily when I finished the cool down, I don't know if my body was like, you know what? It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna wait until you get home. Wow, you're playing with fire. Yeah, I was yeah. playing with it mean, because it was like it was touch and go for the whole you're time. You're close enough to the park, but not that. Yeah, close. Not that, I'm like I'm like th- three quarters to like almost a mile from the park, and then and I ran home too. And then <laughs> the second I the second I opened the door, it like came back with a vengeance. I I literally dropped. I mean, I'm completely sweaty. I just jumped in the the, the bathroom and just <laughs> took all my clothes off, and it just like rained down. Like just awfulness. Oh my god! Like it was so bad. Like just, like my stomach was killing me. Oh my god! And from holding it in, it was. But I almost All that like, running. I, mean, I came so close. To, I mean, it was like really like DefCon, four or five, or one. I don't know which with whatever the I don't know, whatever the whatever worst the, one. Yeah, whatever the worst one is. That's what I had, and it was just. My wife was like, "Oh my!" God. I was in the bathroom forever, and then I had to like take a shower. It was horrible, but so close. I almost texted you. I'm like, dude, I almost shit my pants. It almost happened. I, you were really playing with fire. Yeah. I would have found a place in the park to go. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Oof. I'd like, do it over doing it in my pants. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, my, the my, worst my, is like <laughs> when you're so close, like if you would put the key in your door and you shit your pants no, right then no, and there. No, no. Like, I've never had that. Oh, I've done that a lot with peeing my pants because I'm bladder training because I'm yeah. an old lady. So, but yeah. Oh my it God. Was, it was... I mean, I felt awful. Ugh. Luckily, I mean, I think I just had to zen through it and like, you know, like I'll just yeah. get through this. I think going, running up the big hill in Prospect Park is always a pain in the ass. So I think that the pain of that like took away from me shit, having to shit my pants, <laughs> which usually works in reverse. Like, but um, yeah, it was so close. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, and like, I just, I was in the bathroom forever. It just like would not all if it came out at one big giant flood then it wouldn't come out the rest of it wouldn't come out i'm just sitting there going like this is awful the damn that popcorn sucks. every popcorn. time the popcorn and the fried chicken and all and that the fried other chicken stuff. Every couple days Ugh. Oof, duh. so that's all i really ate for long it was bad but wow. i guess it wasn't as epic as i th- I, I pumped it up to be because that epic would have been i shit my pants but i didn't but wow. i came very very, very close. close yeah yeah like bad and you were like bristol six seven Oh yeah, the number was eight. I mean, whatever like, this was like, I don't even know what it was. It was like every every number <laughs> came out of me. Oh my god! Yeah, it was bad. Ugh. I had to clean the toilet and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. it's just like a, oh, well, that's nice Jackson that you actually Pollock. do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes I'll forget, and I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> Sorry. Gerald gets so mad at me when I like have like skid marks in the bowl. <laughs> From the it poop. happens. And yeah, he's like, what the hell? And then he does it all the time, too. And I'm like, really? I just clean that shit the second I see it. I'm like, I can't let this fly. I mean, every once yeah. in a while, but like. Well, I like put the lid down when I'm flushing. So sometimes I don't see what is left behind. You yeah. Know? That can happen. Yeah. Or when you live with an eight-year-old who's in a rush to do whatever, she'll just leave it 
and it'll be marinating for oh, however God. long. And you come back and you're like, oh, nice what surprise the in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother level, kids. That's a whole, and we're like, but did you wash your hands? Oh. So we had to buy soap that smells, you know, smells like a certain scent. So we knew if she washed yeah, her hands. Yeah, smart. So you could smell it. I'll be like, let me smell your hands. That's gross. Oh. But yeah. you yeah. have to. Like, I mean, I guess if you're like eight by by eight, you just you're already used to grossness, so that's probably yeah. you know you're like, you're like, like whatever. Let me, let me smell your hand. Oh. <laughs> they don't smell clean. Go back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I feel like parents have to do that with kids and their tooth toothpaste too. Right? Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah, she eats. So we're now at the stage where she actually likes this toothpaste and so I caught her the other day I was like looking in the bathroom because I was like there's no way you brushed your teeth that was way too fast you couldn't have gotten all of them and I watched her and she licked the toothpaste off the thing and was like and then just like ate part swished of it, it around, swished like, it around and I was like that's tasting not, some wine. <laughs> I was like that's not brushing your teeth dude I was like you gotta like get the bristles in there and yeah. she's just like <laughs> oh my god she's like I'm losing most of these teeth anyway I know like they're gone Damn. yeah but so still so funny yeah my check in is uh, nothing exciting I've been pinching off some ones and then I take the Still Swiss Chris. Up. Yes. And then I take some Swiss Chris and then I, I do those epic fours. Did you eat some junk food maybe from last time? We have a little bit of... Well, you and I, Dave and I went to Walter's Hot Dog in oh, yeah. um, <laughs> Westchester and because of our guest Greg Ta- Ta- Tapper, right? Tepper. Tepper. We had him on and he has this painting of this double toilet in this tiny bathroom. And so Dave and I were like, let's do our promo photo there. So if you follow us on Instagram, <laughs> Hey Poopy Podcast, you can see it there in our highlights or even on our website. It was stressful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was very stressful. I'm surprised I didn't have to go to the bathroom because it was so fucking stressful. <laughs> So basically, the, why he's saying it's stressful is we first drove an hour out of the city and went to a Walter hot dog that was the wrong location because we didn't know that there were two in Westchester. Okay. And Dave was, had been there before and he's like, no, this is so wrong. So then we put it in the GPS and we were 20 minutes north of where we were supposed to be. So then we went to the other place. The right one. And it's which, like a little roadside stand. It's, it's like okay. small. It's, it's there's a, no, there's no it's seating. It's like adorable. It's a pagoda. You yeah, call pago- it? a pagoda. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just like it's really cute. But what I didn't realize with this bathroom is that the door is facing the street, and all the people Ooh. waiting in line for hot dogs. So they see you. And I couldn't remember from the last time I'd been there. It's been, it had been so long that I thought it was bigger, way bigger than you guys <laughs> I are remember. squishing it. No, it's, it's, it's a small bathroom. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a it's a proper bathroom, but oh. the door is facing the road and not the line of people. And it was Sunday afternoon, and everybody was in their slippers ordering hot yeah. dogs. And so Dave and I, I was like, Dave, we cannot take a camera on a mm-hmm. tripod with two people going into the bathroom. They're gonna think we're filming a fucking porno in here, <laughs> and like they're gonna call the cops on us. Like that's the that's all I could think of. So we ordered food, and I and I guess, I'm guessing he was Ellen, like 19, yeah. right? So the guy we order from, I was like, hey, I have a really strange request. We have a podcast about poop. Do you think we could take a picture? And I don't think he thought that we had a whole tripod with a professional camera. Yeah. I think he thought we were yeah, just gonna like iPhone in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah. 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 And he was like, yeah, go right ahead. And I was like, well, we're gonna set up a tripod. And he was like, wait, let me ask my boss. And he was like, if you come back at like 6.30, you could totally do this. And we were like, there at 12 30 i was like oh, no, no we're not waiting for six hours so then i was like we ordered food and so i ate all those potato everything sweet potato curly fries, fries curly Ooh. fries and potato puffs and so we are like sitting in the car like game planning like what can we do and i was like fuck it let's i'll just offer them 50 bucks for five minutes <laughs> i mean you know, if i was like, a 19 year old someone offered them. me 50 bucks yeah, yeah. to take a she photo gonna, in the bathroom she was gonna grease the manager <laughs> yeah yeah i was like I, I, i'm not coming back here like but we already got up early. I have a full face of fucking makeup on. Like, um, so we <laughs> went back this. and we see the 19 year old and I was like, Hey, so, and he was like, did you take the picture? And I was like, no, you guys told us to come back. He's like, just, just do it before like, I could even <laughs> offer it. Yeah, he money. was like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. He's like, just do it. And so weirdly <clears throat> enough, that was like the one five minute period that there wasn't like, n- there was 30 anybody. people outside. Yeah, again, to set the paint, paint the picture, this is like a little roadside stand. I mean, it's not little, but it's it's a 
you know, mid-size yeah. pagoda. But right on the road. It's right off the road. Like, okay. cars are parked along the side. There's no, you can't go inside anywhere. So you're waiting yeah. outside. So you dict all the orders and your pickups are all outside. And Facing it's like February. The street. Facing, so it's yeah. like cold out. People are just out waiting around. And like, it was busy. Like, I was shocked at how busy it was. But this, we hit, we actually hit this one window where there was like nobody around. Because we first walked in the bathroom. Closed. <laughs> Ellen, we, Ellen's with this gigantic tripod. The camera on top of that. We just bum rushed the fucking bathroom. Run in there. <laughs> locked the door. Now we're like, we're just sitting going like now what and then we realized the tripod was too big for the for the bathroom also oh, it, was no. like, it was like two feet of yeah, space like it, it wasn't even the tripod like we needed to back up yeah there wasn't oh, enough space to get yeah. the actual photo but the tripod yeah, yeah. was definitely like not you know yeah. it's not happening so we opened the door up and i couldn't believe someone didn't see us like no one was there and i no- originally wanted us to at least drop our pants to our or not keep our underwear on but drop our pants to our knees so it would look funnier like we were on the toilet right. and i was like if the two of us drop our pants that's when facing the, yeah. the street we're getting arrested yeah. we're getting we're, it's like it's gonna <laughs> yeah. happen it's gonna happen with our luck someone's like what the fuck are you doing yeah <laughs> with I a mean, camera yeah it was yeah. two people going to the bathroom with a camera with their pants dropped I mean, just two people one at least one person saw us going there together like yeah. i was waiting for the hot dog someone this guy's like what the fuck but after that like i couldn't believe it i was shocked and yeah. then, like one point we're like oh it's blurry and i was like oh, it's blurry we blurry we gotta redo it i'm like fuck <laughs> and I was just like, come on, baby, here we go. And but like, we were doing it on a timer. It was timer, setting a timer, too. So and I think like, we got five full shots and used two. Yeah, it was good. Okay, that's Take good. maybe less than five minutes. Yeah. We did okay. as quickly as possible. Yeah. It was like, I would say that's pretty successful. Yeah. We're not I mean we totally barred that bathroom. We just like <laughs> we went in there. We just like just totally did it. But it was so funny like thinking cuz the door is open too. So people like cars are driving by. Yeah. And, and I just, told like, a friend of mine <laughs> what we did and she was like, "Oh, there's a double bathroom in Times Square." I was like, "Why didn't nobody fucking tell us about this? The only double toilet that we've seen is this Westchester place." Also, I mean, I'm not I mean, I don't know. This one is probably way cleaner than the one and Times Square. I'm just oh, yeah. assuming. That's true. You know, so, yeah. and also it's like, I can imagine we're walking around with a fucking tri- tripod. Like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> There's gonna be way more people <laughs> noticing things. Yeah. Still oh my God. also a porno. But it worked out yes. though. But yeah, this is how close the toilets are to each Ooh. other. We've posted this on Instagram. So, yeah. people. I would take that in my house actually. So this yeah. is the actual picture. Oh my God, I love it. But you can also see Instagram. Yes. Yeah. But it came out pretty good. I think it's pretty good. For as nerve wracking as the whole process was, <laughs> it did come out pretty good. You were like pretty stoked on the whole process. Well, I after, feel like after I was like, Oh, that was a kind of like a rush. I normally do not like getting in any kind of like uh I don't want to get ki- arrested. <laughs> in a weird <laughs> or, situation, bad yeah, situation. And that's just like how do you explain that? Like, you know. So yeah. But it, it worked out well. Yeah. Which goes into like I guess your check in sorta like you had that was, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. That, well, that was your junk yeah that was that was my junk food. food and then um, after that I went home took a nap and woke up and made food to watch the Oscars with and I made wings and tater tots with fucking Ooh. okay so you had um, some junk queso food, cheese junk food. yeah. yeah. Okay. And still pumping out twos or ones. Yeah, n- nothing different. Oh, the only damn. thing that saves me is the Swiss Chris, yeah. like lubricates. Well, so. Jason, luckily he gave us the the hook up with that. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good check-in. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, so Tina, tell us about yourself. <laughs> I know. Where do I go from that? Like, <laughs> I know. Well, now. Um, oh, I hate talking about myself. Um I do, I'm a Reiki master. I do sound baths all over Brooklyn, New York. Sound baths? Uh, tell sound people baths. What, tell people. You're not like in water. That's, oh, okay. That's, that's the other That would have been awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Tell people well, that, about. That's like the, that would be cool. What Reiki is and what a sound bath is. Um, Reiki. It is, it comes from uh, Japan and basically it's a form of energy healing. So if you think of it like, um, I don't know, like your chi when you're doing yoga and stuff like that and you have chakras in your body and you have energy meridians. So what can happen is like um, you can get places where it's stuck, stuck in your muscles, stuck in your body. So Reiki is kind of going through that and kind of um, moving it. So like moving the toxins out. Um, and it's like a very gentle touch. However, because I was a massage therapist, I kind of think oh, okay. like when you're working on someone um, 
if I hover over you, it's like feels creepy. It feels weird. Mm-hmm. So I kind of just go in, not like super hard, but like kind of touch. And so it's a lot of kind of like raking the body or compressions, hovering over one spot. Um, and then I use the sound on top of that. So I'll put sound bowls on top of people and play the sound. So you'll feel the vibration kind of moving through. Um, so it just helps kind of move out toxins. Um, there's a whole whole list of things that it helps with. Oh, so, cool. Yeah, anxiety, well, nice. you know, whatever. I did one Reiki <laughs> years ago where the guy didn't touch me at all. And then I've done yeah. Reiki with you maybe about almost now two years ago when my Lyme was really bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and it really... It helped what in the moment that I was there, but I needed a lot more to kill yeah. all the lime. <laughs> yeah. You like 10 more people? <laughs> like you. We're going to need more people. We need more hands, yeah, no guys. More hands. We need more hands. <laughs> or one big giant hand. <laughs> just, yeah. Um, and then with the sound bath, so that's like my main jam that I do these days. I do a lot of like um, sound meditations in elementary schools for corporate work. Um, where I go in and just uh, do this like meditation and then kind of play these ambient sounds. So that part is really cool because you, it's like, you know, depending on like the time frame, if you're doing like a corporate setting, it's 15 minutes to check out. You're not doing work. You get to sit in a chair, close your eyes, concentrate on your breathing and just listen to like pleasant sounds. Um, Sounds so, delightful. Yeah, no, it's really great. And I mean, and people feel really energized afterwards. I do have a lot of people who kind of quite like people who don't know what it what it is and they'll question it and then those are usually like your main jam repeats. They're like, that was great. Gotcha, you see yeah. them every time. You're like, what's up, buddy? Nice. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then, so the sound baths that I do around that I've hosted, um, what a sound bath is, is like your no water is in- <laughs> included in I kinda it. I kind of want to try one with water, though. <laughs> I, know, I like no. that. I know. I was like thinking, as you said, I was like, ooh, what if we were like in it's a pool sonar. and you could like kind of float? Yeah. Or like, you know. Like those deprivation tanks with yes. the sound thing. And you're Wait, kind of oh. like walking through, playing. So we're creating a whole new, th- we're a new a whole genre. New, a whole new thing right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. So basically, um, you come, you lay down on the ground. Um, and we kind of go through this like meditation. And then I play sounds. Um, and you're laying there for like an hour, 90 minutes or so. And so usually like what happens during this time, well, for me, I'll just say what happens for me um, when I've gone to a sound bath is that you're, at first your thoughts are kind of like racing and you're like, you know, I'm like, what are they playing? And how are they playing this? And they're walking next to me and I smell Palo Santo everywhere. (laughs) You know, like they're (laughs) wafting it out like over the top of you. But um then your body starts to kind of like calm down and you start to sort of like sink into your body because you just like hearing like ambient sounds with no one like singing is can be really uh, meditative and so as you're hearing these sounds like for me I like will just sort of feel like I go into another plane or maybe I'll see Um, lights kind of flashing or I'll just feel really dreamy sometimes I just fall asleep like that's what I need Um, but you wake up feeling really refreshed and energized and it feels really good yeah yeah, I just started meditating. Well, I, t- I did a 21 day meditation challenge. Oh, which was okay. pretty amazing. I'd never meditated before, so that was like perfect. Yeah. And I love the sort of like the music in the background. Mm hmm. But there was like, oh, there'll be a soft bell to take you out of your um, mantra. Yes. But the bell I was so loud. I'm like, that's not a soft <laughs> bell. It would like almost jar me to the point where I'm like, what? <laughs> You're like, oh my God. But um, other than that, it was, I thought it was great. Like, it was yeah. really relaxing. Yeah. And I mean, like, so I feel like with sounds, the reason I, kind of moved more into sounds and meditation with sounds is that everybody knows what sound is and they can like wrap their mind around that so like when you're talking about reiki 
Not everyone can go there. So if you want to reach more people in order to have them experience this, a better way is to do a sound meditation. Everyone knows what meditation is, whether they do it or they don't do it. They've heard of it. So then when you're like, oh, I'm adding sound to that, it doesn't feel... It's not so abstract. It's kind of like... Yeah. I I can wrap my head around it. Totally. And it doesn't feel forced. You're just like, hey, I'm just going to chill here and you're going to hear some music. You can either like it or not, you know, whatever. Well, Tina brought in a uh, awesome <laughs> talking about sound. She brought in a gong. That's yes. like two feet is, across. At like, least it's a nice size gong. Should, that, I, uh, should yeah. I bang yeah. it? Should I yeah, bang, bang it? Just so like people know that it's real. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, amazing! Right, That's so cool. I love gongs. Do the uh, the the a lollipop one. <laughs> the the creepy one. Okay. We have two different kind of mallets. This is the small mallets. I like that one. That's good. cool too. It's yeah. pretty good. I'm gonna come out wow. with my own mallet sticks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. We'll play that on. I feel like the, we just walked um, in some Instagram. movie or something like that. Or that was like the intro to like um, <laughs> an old like kung fu, kung fu movie? flick from right? like oh. back in the day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, my next question actually is: Ooh, Have okay. you ever? Has anybody ever shit themselves when they're doing sound? <laughs> <laughs> sound work like it's just too much uh, I'm like, uh, um <laughs> not that i'm aware of but i will tell you a story about what happened to me when i went to a gong session oh my god <laughs> so um so i was on so me and my friend who does similar work to me we decided like we were on this mission to check out in the wellness industry there's all these like really weird sometimes super random things like the shamanic colonic and shit like that (laughs) Uh, that's the shamanic colonic colonic. first of all sounds like some trademark registered like uh i know like a like a like a a little comes in a box (laughs) like you just put in a blender the shamanic colonic yeah we need to go to get a shamanic shamanic yes yeah so, you know, we were curious. So uh, the thing that we sort of started to do was I was like, oh, hey, they're doing this gong like meditation series during the day. And it's like a lunch break gong. So it's 45 minutes of gong. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> Usually the sound baths I go to, there's gong, but it's not like the whole thing isn't gong. Right. So I was like, yeah, let's try it. Let's see. And then we can like maybe write about it and like something will happen. Who knows? So we go to this place. Um and it's beautiful um you know and it's nice and it, everything is pretty and like you go in and the room is like dimly lit and they have like the yoga mats you lay down there's this huge gong in the center of the room and just like all her different mallets that the woman is going to use to play so it feels really relaxing and okay. i'm like i can see doing this at lunch like if you had a stressful day and you're like i just want to relax for 45 minutes and then go back to the well, office lunch I break could gong. do this lunch break gong <laughs> And I was like thinking in my head, like, oh, I need to do this. I need to make this. I need to create this. So we lay down and the woman guides us through this meditation and then takes us through this breathing exercise. And what I will say is (laughs) she like was like a drill sergeant yelling at us to breathe, like breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So I was getting stressed out because I was like, I can't breathe as fast as she's asking me to. Like, cause you know, you're trying to do it from your gut and like move the breath yeah. all around. And finally I was like, this is giving me anxiety. And I was like, wait a second. I can just do what I want to do. I can just breathe how yeah, I want to breathe. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, who is she? She, you know, so I'm like, me. I know, right? You're not the boss of me. I can breathe however I want. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. My friend is next to me. We kind of look at each other like, what the fuck? Lay back, you know, still laying down. And then she goes into playing the gong. And it was soothing. And like, there were definitely noises that I heard that felt a little um disruptive to your body so like when you're doing these things and you're playing like tuning forks or singing bowls sometimes there's like tones that make you feel uncomfortable and usually like you sort of work that out through your body so maybe your body will hurt here and then through breathing and by the end you you feel all right so maybe you need to work something out so i'm feeling that but i'm not feeling anything specific i'm just like oh the sound is weird okay that's fine we sit up 
and it was great and we thank her and we're like oh you know whatever me and my friend leave um we go and we get like a tea and they you know standard practice after you do any kind of thing like this they're like drink lots of water because yeah. it's moving you know toxins and whatever around drink lots of water so we get on the train she goes her way and i go mine and there's a certain part on the train where i'm sweating and i'm like oh, no. oh fuck like oh my god i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> like this is real <laughs> And you know how, like, when the... <laughs> yeah, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, this is what's happening to me. And you know, like, you start gauging, you're like, well, if I get up on this stop, I know that there's a bathroom here. Will I make it there, or should I continue my journey on to home? Like, how much time do I have before I can make it? Yeah, Cause, it's like time released. <laughs> yes, because you're like, obviously, I want to... I really want to do this at home because I don't know what's going to come out. (laughs) But if I have to like jump ship, I need to like figure out that there's a bathroom instead of running in Manhattan. Like, "Ah, I need a bathroom. (laughs) So, um, I barely make it home and I'm like, you've been to my apartment. So, there's like an elevator and then it's like this weird hall that you have to run down all these twists and turns which I feel like kind of fucks your body up even more because it's not just a straight shot. You're like, turn 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 so i'm like basically pulling off my pants as i'm like running <laughs> yep. down the hall been there <laughs> like, <laughs> like no ah, no one's here open the door barely make it get into the bathroom and release this like epic shit and i was like <laughs> you know how like after you released you just feel like accomplished yes. yeah just like oh, i made it feels yeah. so much better <laughs> it feels so much better so i was like wow that was a really fucked up thing so i go a little bit more whatever i come out um i'm like i'm gonna lay down i'm gonna lay down i don't like feel so hot i lay down later in the evening i had like sweats and i had chills and i was cold and so i was like man i got the fucking flu okay and i wasn't even thinking about this gong experience that i just had i was like i just had the flu so i text my friend and i'm like yo (laughs) i almost pooped my pants on the train ride home and she was like girl me too so it got me thinking i was like how could both of us have almost shit our pants it's the gong gong shits gong shits (laughs) i was like they stirred up some shit so then i was like very curious so we found um the woman the sound practitioner on instagram and we i'm i'm sure she thought we we were crazy (laughs) we like followed her and then we texted her like um hey so like has anyone ever came to your gong sessions and like had to violently shit themselves (laughs) afterwards and she was totally offended and was like no oh really (laughs) he was like no well nobody wanted to admit it nobody wanted to admit it so we were like i was just like it's so like she was very sweet about it she was like i don't know like i drink water is that what you put in the yelp review (laughs) (laughs) violently shit my pants violently shit yourself (laughs) go to this constipated (laughs) oh my god so but i thought it was strange though because both of us had it we didn't eat afterwards it's it seems really, it's too much of a coincidence it's too yeah. much of a coincidence we didn't share like a water so we didn't get it from each Cross other yeah. contamination yes. but and so then that's what leads me to the brown note yes so which dave and i have talked about this off Matt, mike yeah. that we wanted to try this with depends on yeah yeah, yeah. okay so i don't want to spoil or like ruin anything but so the science community says it's not a real thing and that basically this guy back in the day wrote something and said how um the it was like in a village and they played this note and everyone in the village started (laughs) wetting themselves and pooping violently (laughs) and and word kind of got out from that point and it became this like urban urban legend legend. and that and that is sort of like what stemmed the brown note but like i mean I don't want to like buck science because obviously science is science. But I will say that, you know, when you play these sounds, different things do transpire in your body. So maybe science just 
hasn't gone there yet. They haven't caught up with it yet. They haven't caught up yet. But I mean, I still want to try this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yes. still. I think we should try. I mean, it. I think at the you very should. least, like it'd be great to like if we had like a budget, we could get like a giant like <laughs> horn or just something like to, like a huge speaker. Like, right? you know, and just lay on the floor or wherever <laughs> just see what happens. Well, and I think these like super like droney noises that um, I forget what they were saying, like the frequency is, but it has something to do with like the frequency too. And the tone is yeah. really, really, really low. Yeah. So imagine if you're like laying on the ground and you're hearing it, but then you're also like sort of feeling the vibration yeah. of that tone. I mean, like when you go to like a, see a band play, yeah, um, you know, it's like and you hear the bass and everything or the drums it's like I mean you can just depending on the band you can like, feel that you can yeah. feel that in your your whole like lower regions yeah so you know I'm, there's sure there's something there there's something there I still want to try it though I, I just want to see if it happens but that's <laughs> I mean <laughs> that's crazy though <laughs> otherwise you guys are like offended <laughs> no no I have I've, never <laughs> I have never because I was like wow how can they how can they offer this as a service when you like I was like I couldn't go back to work after this no I had to like lay down I was like out. You're like, where's Tina? Oh, she's in the bathroom again. Okay, she's in the <laughs> like, bathroom. She's like, was oh, yeah. she doing coke in there or something? Like, yeah. like, oh, I'm in the bathroom again. <laughs> she's in the bathroom again, guys. Fuck. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah. But anyways. No, I mean, like, it's interesting also, what if you're constipated and you don't want to get a colonic? Maybe go to a gong meditation and see if I things mean, move. I mean, what if you're already feeling a little like, you know, oh, I don't feel that great. And then that, I mean, you would have your and pants it in the it out of you. Yeah. yeah. You would have been like, what the fuck? Lady? Dude. Well, I mean, and I felt I like, cause we <laughs> kind of like made this list, me and my friend, like trying to really figure this out. And we're like, well, we both felt all right going into it. Like we were excited. We yeah. were happy. The other thing that makes me think is like, was the crazy regimented breathing like it loosened of, me up? Yeah. Maybe. And then, like I just had this thing, and then it was like it was a combination of two out. things. I mean, whatever you tapped into, <laughs> what I know, you figured out some kind of weird like um, again, that's not your new superpower. <laughs> I know, right? All right, yeah, exactly. That's, I just oh saw that God. new movie, Birds of Prey, the Harley Quinn movie, mm-hmm. and one of the superheroes in it is shit. <laughs> no, her, her, her name is I think the Black Canary, and she can scream really loud and knock mm. people over with her oh, screaming. Okay. okay, so yeah, it's I'm like knock, that. I just touch you with my gong sounds, exactly, and, sh- and then I poop. Sh- yeah. You're like, oh. yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's I, you know I think it's real. Yeah, I think it's real. I, I mean, just in the, yeah. in the sake of this podcast, it's real. It's real. It is it's real. totally. <laughs> That's amazing, though. Yeah. So, well, I'm glad you didn't shit your pants during it. That would have been even oh. more embarrassing and but just like, awful. You know for a fact there are people who are going to that class and not admitting it. Oh, completely. The fact that well, two I just of you. Wonder, yeah, I mean, like. Like I would want to go to the, like Dave and I should go to that class, try it, and then we should interview people after. Like, can we interview you? Uh, like, like here's after the show. Yeah. Can we, after the can show, we after see the, if yeah. anything mar- is yeah. marinating yeah. in you? Did you see your pants today? They're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this for? Who, who are you? I'm like, just curious. Well, I will say so. Like, we did it, and then we had enough time to walk and get a drink. And then drink our drink and get on the train. So there was like a time frame. So I would say an hour. Yeah, maybe like an hour afterwards of just it like resonating in your body. Yeah. And then like marinating. Yeah. (laughs) And the alien emerged. Like that's "Ah." that's 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 crazy though, man. I I mean that's I think yeah for sure the sound had something to do with it. I feel I feel like and the drink you had after is just tea. I had tea. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to, that no. doesn't do nothing. Yeah. Who's whatever that? the, yeah. whatever the perfect, it's like a perfect mixture of things. <laughs> you're like, I know, right? you're like, how much tea did I drink? And then we'll what? recreate that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some kind of lab. Ooh, Amazing. this could be my next treatment session. Yeah. For people like, who are backed up. <laughs> for people yes. who are backed up. Come. We got that. We got tea. the actual sound bath, <laughs> the, the wet sound bath. <laughs> the wet sound bath. It's going to be great. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Pooping in a pool, though, I don't know. No. Ooh. Yeah, well, we have to put some kind of like scuba like <laughs> diaper on. Some kind of like keep it thing to keep, yeah, keep, some kind of bladder system like to keep that contained. Ooh. Or a cork. A cork, <laughs> oh. yeah. Oh well, that oh, okay. actually segues nicely into my next story about my brother <laughs> and poop. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, because so you sent me a list of questions and it jogged. Like I had a few stories, but then it jogged a few out of my brain that I was like, "Oh, I forgot about that. That's so good. Yeah, that's the best." Yeah. So I'm from Arizona, and um, I grew up 
hanging out there and a lot of like what you do in like the summer or after school is you swim in a pool man like yeah, it's, it's hot, hot. yeah like you're swimming in bath water basically um and my grandparents would like take care of us after school and like over the summer so me and my brother just swam and my brother's younger than me he's like four years younger and like one of the best things we love to do so like my grandparents yard and this is kind of like well i mean back in the day i don't know it's probably changed now but there was like a grass section that was just grass mm-hmm. and then there was like the pool with rocks all around it and like cactuses. Mm-hmm. So there wasn't like a lot. So playing in the backyard, we like made up all these games so we would take rocks and throw them in the pool mm-hmm. and see who can swim the best or swim the fastest, who could pick up the <laughs> most rocks and like do a flip, pick up rocks, come back, you know. So these were like the games that we created. At any rate, just like a normal day we're like swimming all day long whatever uh at the end of the day our grandparents are like come in well my grandpa is like surveying the pool make sure there's no rocks or anything in yeah. it and he's like yo there's a rock well he didn't actually say yo yeah. but <laughs> he was like, he's like hey, yo yo there's he's a like, rock what's up? <laughs> what's up? there's a rock down there but he was like hey there's a rock down there can you go and get it <laughs> meanwhile my brother is standing right next to me watching and hearing this whole thing go down okay so he knows. nothing yes he knows he's like and looking up in the air <laughs> he's like do 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 so luckily I put on my goggles to go swimming down. I swim down and I'm like right there about to touch it. And I'm like, oh, that's no rock. That's like a turd. <laughs> oh, it's a caddy shack. Oh, Dude, like, but even worse because yeah, it sank. I, yeah. I was like, what was in that? That it like just like <laughs> brr, he ate to, the bo- to the bottom. I know, right? <laughs> to the bottom. And I remember swimming up and being like. Horrified. Papa. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turd and my brother like turning white like because there was only two of us in the yeah. pool it was like him and I and you're not going to go fish out your own turd I'm not gonna, yeah. yeah oh my god and my grandpa was like so mad oh god drain the pool and then gotta clean it with all these chemicals and then I'm thinking now as a grown up I was telling Ellen like I'm like milling over the story like oh yeah and and just today I was like Dude, I was swimming in poop water. <laughs> For how long? No one knows. Yeah. No one knows. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's so That's kind of gross. disgusting. And now I want to call my brother and be like, I hate you. You owe me a gift. Yeah. You like a yeah. special yeah. gift. <laughs> <laughs> so did you, your grandpa drain the pool and get the turd out? Like what yes. was the next step? He had, well, he drank. So, oh my God, that was taking forever. Dude, he yeah. was so angry because it's expensive yeah. to yeah. fill a pool. He had to drain it, get the pool out. He had to put some chemical shit on it. And he was like, I remember him yelling like, and it's going to stain the bottom. It's going to stain the bottom. And I was like, there will be a forever mark of your shit at the bottom of the pool, Josh. Like <laughs> your grandfather puts a big X I know. mark. This is where Josh happened. Oh, How old fuck. was your brother? I don't know. He's like six. Seven. Oh, my God. I mean, he's young. Yeah. Yeah. But like old enough to know better. Young enough totally. that it happens. Yeah. But also at I least was, it was solid, dude. But I'm like wondering though, this is what I was thinking because I was like, the logistics just don't make sense. Like, did you just shake it out? Did you just like poop in the water and like shake it out your swim he, trunk he and must, it sank? Because yeah, like, first of all, swim trunks, at least the, the boys, trim, they have like those mesh linings in them. I so know, so I was He must like, have like pulled them down because that's just, that's like, you know. And where was I? What was I doing? And I, I mean- like, he knew when that turd came out. Yeah. He had like, to. Yeah. And he sat there silently yeah. watching me swim down to it. Imagine <laughs> if I picked it up. Yeah, that would have been horrible. He was like, scarred for life. This rock is squishy. I know, like, it dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have changed you. He would have been like, oh my God. I know. Our relationship would have well, been Tina different. Tina and I came over here together and we were talking about, which like kind of jogged my memory. Um, when when you get to this point where you're potty trained, so you're like three, four, and you're a mom, so you can correct me, mm-hmm. and then you're go in school. Like, there's this point where you're like, we're never taught what happens if you go to the bathroom in your pants. Like, no. hopefully, your parents send you with a clean pair of underwear always in your bag. And which I remember, I've never had that. Really, you never yeah. had a clean pair of underwear. My parents probably wouldn't even think about that. No. Oh, we always had like. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. in preschool every I don't cubby, that. <laughs> like every buddy's cubby, where they'd put their Cubbies. coats Cubbies. and wherever else. Every kid had a clean pair of underwear with their name written in it. 
Well, hey, you have like, like a Ziploc. Well, I mean, maybe it's different now as from when we were kids, but like for. <laughs> I don't want to say her name in case she listens to this. She's <laughs> older and is like, how dare you? <laughs> uh, my daughter. You, we, you have like this big Ziploc bag with an extra change of clothes, underwear, definitely, a couple pairs of underwear, and maybe like a blanket. And then sometimes like if they're really young, like kindergarten or whatever, you put a sheet in there because they cover, they lay on these mats and they cover it with like a sheet. I didn't get, and my parents never gave me any of that shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I got nothing. My parents were sort of like, yeah, I know. We'll just, I totally just remember deal. having that clean pair. Everybody had a clean pair of underwear. I did not remember this at all. Only when like you're in like between the ages of like three, four, five, and six. Like, I feel like once you hit like first and second grade. No, like, yeah, you definitely don't Like if that. you... Should have known. I mean, maybe that, I, I don't know. I it, I, I, just feel like I can never remember my childhood. Like like in school, <laughs> like when I was really young, I, I just kind of like, oh, when is this gonna be over? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, I remember so much of it. Oh my god, I was but bored. Yeah, it's like <laughs> we. There are certain things that you're not taught as a kid. Yeah, and one of it is what happens if you shit your pants. Like when we're adults, hey son, one of these I days mean, you're gonna shit your pants, and here's take what you're a rag do. to school. Here's yeah. take, make sure you grab a rag. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> I mean, they probably figure, well, okay, you shit your pants, that sucks, but just go deal with it. Yeah, but it's devastating when you're a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because other kids, definitely. Oh, I yeah. have this friend of mine, and I don't want to tell the full story, but I was telling Tina on the way over here, I'm dying for him to be on the podcast. He has this epic story of shitting his pants when he was, like, in school, and the story is so good, and it's like, he, he had no other choice but to what he did, okay. mm-hmm. and so it's like... Hmm. We aren't taught these things. Yeah, no, it's I mean, true. for sure. I just, I don't have a, any, like, recollection of, like, I mean, I'm sure I shit my pants when I was a little kid. Like, I don't know about school, though. I don't think I ever did it at school. I think I would have remembered that. Maybe you yeah. didn't. Maybe you were properly potty trained. Maybe. I peed my but pants But also the then, there's, there's also this, which I just remembered this story. So, when uh, we would go out into the woods, we... Uh, would let Olivia we're like oh it's cool to pee in the woods woo and like you know let her pee in the woods or whatever I don't remember if she ever pooped in the woods but because we were like oh it's a cool thing and she was little like maybe three or four there was one time when we were on the playground and she my daughter (laughs) is very much like clockwork like when she like has to go to the bathroom at this exact time and we're playing and I'm like talking with these other moms and I happen to look over I watch her because I'm like, what is she doing? Because you just never really know. Yeah. She pulls down her pants and shits. <laughs> like in the in middle the of the playground. And I was like, well, at least it's on a drain. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, oh right? My God. Did you pick it up with a doggy poo poo bag? Luckily, yes, I had a dog bag and I like ran over and was like, Ugh. but everyone was like, oh my God. And I was like, but it could have been worse. Yeah. Like yeah. she was very was cool about it. She just pulled on her. She was like, this is what you do, right? I love how she p- picked floor instead of pants yeah because she could have gone in her pants she could have and she was but i think it's because we had that summer yeah let her like pee in the woods because we're just like it's cool to pee in the woods i think i mentioned this on the episode my dad was on but when we were younger we used to go to europe all the time and we my brother was three the first time he went to france and this is in the 80s in france this is 198 he was born in 81 so this is 1984 okay People in France and Paris, men pee everywhere. They just whip out their dick and piss on the sides of everything. And so my brother and my dad, the entire time we were in France, he was like whipping out his dick, pissing on the sides of like every building because that's what you did in Europe. And then my parent, we got back to the States and all of a sudden this three-year-old is literally leaning up against every (laughs) building peeing. And my dad's like, well, we got to fix this problem now. Like he has a, yeah. He was taught that that was okay for mm-hmm. a couple of weeks in Europe, and it's not okay on this side of the well, Atlantic. Were the, were the parents like just totally like, oh my God, I can't believe your daughter just did that? Well, okay. you know, oh, I shouldn't say this, but it's just like a lot of <laughs> clog wearing moms yeah. hanging out at the playground judging each other, and they're Ugh. like, oh my, your child. I Ugh, can't believe so You know, actually, annoying. my the ones that I was hanging out with were like, damn she made it on the drain that's cool where the other <laughs> ones were like giving you like the stink eye like how dare she we must disinfect the Shit playground the street. <laughs> Shit <laughs> in the street yeah oh my god i love that <clears throat> oh man wow that's awesome 
Yeah. Your daughter's like, whatever, I gotta go. I gotta go. And sometimes that's how it is, dude. Yeah. You just gotta do your thing. <laughs> Which leads me into another story. I have a lot, so sorry. Um, where she ratted me out Uh-oh. once. Because they also do that. Like, you know, having a kid, if you if they're with you and you're doing anything, they're gonna tell someone that you did that thing. Or they're gonna hear your conversation on the phone and then be like, Oh, well, shit. mom said this wow. about you, grandma. Oh my god. That has happened. And I was like and I had to say I said it because it yeah. was like sounded like my it was my words, obviously. And I was like, oh, Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Like oh, you're like don't ever write me out again. I know. I was like, I gave you. Like, this is the mob. <laughs> I'm like, I give you all your toys. Yeah. No. You're like, wait till the tables are turned. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm like so excited for that time. But um, at any rate, so here's the story where she totally ratted me out. Um, so went to my husband. He had like this epic work party where it was like all these like team building exercises Mm -hmm. and they had to go and do all this crap and so he was like meet us later there's a picnic and then there's drinking whatever so we go and we roll up he rides his bike there we show up in the car and we eat and it's like normal barbecue stuff i think i had a lot of chicken and hummus and whatever but i think what really did me in was these frozen rosé drink. Ooh, yeah, rosé. <laughs> rosé. I think that like killed me. So I had a few of those and then we're walking home or we're walking to the car. So he's walking with us to get his bike and then we were going to walk to the car. He's going to meet us with his bike, drive home. As we're walking, I'm like farting, you know? <laughs> but like casual farts, like yeah. here and there like whatever. <laughs> But you know, as you keep going, I was like noticing like they were increasing and like becoming juicier. So I was like, <laughs> you know, like you're like, oh no, something's about to happen. So yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, yes. And even my kid was like, mom, because I was like, walk faster, you know, like oh god. So he leaves. He gets on his bike. He's gonna meet us at the car. And we're walking and we're like increasing our walk and we're walking faster. But where we are, we're like by Prospect Park, but there's only like houses. So you know how like you get this nervousness where you're like, if I have to go, which bush can I go yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. And what can I leaf could I use as like toilet paper? Yeah. So I'm like looking around like, oh my God, like super freaked out. I spy this pizza joint in the middle of nowhere. It's like heaven. And so I run to it and I'm like... Olivia, I gotta go to the bathroom. So we go in, and I don't want to like just say like. Obviously, I'm gonna pin it on her. I'm like, she gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> instead of being like, it's me because yeah. they'll never deny a kid going to the bathroom. Yeah. So I'm like, can I get a slice of pizza just so you know? Yeah. And they're like, cool. Yeah, use the bathroom. I go into the bathroom and just unleash fury. <laughs> just and I like turned on the water because I was like, I don't want anyone to hear this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I go to the bathroom and I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. Meanwhile, my husband is at the car. He's texting me like, where are you? Blah, like, blah, Can't blah. Talk, sweetie. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to write him back. You know, like, got to grab my pizza. Get out of here. I go to flush the toilet and it's broken. <gasps> the shit is broken. I was like, did they oh, like, no. la- like, did, they did obviously they thought know? that we were going to pee in it, not like freaking shit. diarrhea in it so i was oh, like no. i like i tried to macgyver i lift up the back of the tank and i'm like trying to pour hands with my water in in the back of the tank to get the toilet and to is your daughter more. in the room with she you? is like like what are you doing so yeah she's not outside waiting no for you. she she's is like in, with, in with me yeah and so i'm like, oh my god and i'm like this is gonna take forever to fill up the tank with my hands and, ah. Holy so shit. i turn to her i have this moment where i look at her because i know and i'm like you can't say shit <laughs> you didn't see shit <laughs> and they're like, I know, like, you can't say anything i was like we're i was like we have no choice <laughs> We have no choice, okay? This is what's happening yeah, right This now. is a teaching moment. <laughs> no, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to le- teach you something right now. I was like, I am not proud of this. But I was like, <laughs> but literally, they gave us a broken toilet. There is nothing we can do. We got to abandon ship and you are not going to say anything. So she's like, 
I mean, I probably went over it three or four times yeah. and she's like, uh-huh, okay. So we walk out. <laughs> I grab my pizza and she screams back as we're walking out. She broke your toilet. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I was oh like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I was like, they're going to find out soon enough. But I'm like, she, you know, what the fuck is wrong with I you? Like, why? I was like, why? And meanwhile, my phone is exploding. We finally get to the car and my husband's like, you stop for pizza. Like, what? You're what? like, slow down. And I was just like trying to explain. I'm like, I had to get the piece of pizza because I had to poop. And then I broke the toilet and then <laughs> Olivia like, ratted me out. And he was just like, dude, <laughs> like, this is unbelievable. Is this one of your made up stories? <laughs> and I'm like, it, I wish it was. It's, not. it's definitely. <laughs> oh, my no, God. That's a good a one. Real, this is a real jam. I have to pee again. Okay. <laughs> all right. You all right? Yeah. So Ellen's back from the bathroom. I got my period <laughs> and I'm a mess. Right. There's uh-huh. one epic story that I reminded Tina about that yeah. I was like, she has to be on just for this story. Well, and the funny thing was, is that I totally forgot about that. I think, <laughs> you know, I mean, it was a while ago. Yeah. But I think like certain things like, you know, when it happens and you're just like, I'm going to erase this from your brain. <laughs> I'm just going to take it out of my brain. So it was I, that bad, huh? Well, it wasn't like it was. No, it's shocking. terrible, but it was like, I think at the time and <laughs> what I was doing, I was in disbelief about yeah. what just happened to me. Or I feel like that usually yeah. happens when you, when you have a horrific shit yourself story. <laughs> no, but she this, didn't shit herself. I, didn't, I wasn't. Uh, the, it ha- like You weren't the shitter. I wasn't the shitter. I was the shit finder. Oh, oof. <laughs> that was a pretty it's bad right. too. I hate ugh, those. I've, I've, I've discovered human shit so many times. It's like, ugh. Yeah, so um, once upon a time, I was an <laughs> esthetician, um, and I worked at this really sort of fancy, swanky spa, and we did a lot of like laser hair removal, facials, um, laser on the face, remove sunspots, waxing, so, waxing, and you and you're not going to name tanning. Yeah, you're not going to name names, but you'd waxed a lot of celebrity vaginas. Oh, I did. Yeah, I have, wow. I've seen a lot. Well, we could tell. Yeah. Us, they'll tell me off. off yeah, yeah, off yeah. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what my grandpa said about one and oh I was like how God. dare you <laughs> it was weird it was like we had this moment and I was like I can never unsee or unhear what you just said to oh. me like we are I am forever changed yeah. by this moment thank you um so the she this person that wasn't a celebrity but there was a lot of like rich socialite okay. like ladies who would come yeah. the these treatments are expensive and you know whatever so she came in and um, when you when you're doing these sessions, you give them like a gown. So they change out of their clothes. You give them this like little terry cloth gown thing yeah. and like paper underwear. And some ladies are like, I don't want the underwear. I don't need it. Whatever. So we do the session. And basically the session is like when you're doing the laser hair removal, you're putting gel on that area and you're using this like wand like thing and you're stuffing it in the gel and you're like zapping light into their body to remove the the hair hair from the follicle you're killing the hair in the follicle it hurts yes but it's not like terrible right i mean you could i mean having a baby is worse but like i had i did it a bunch of times with you and i i want to say that it's it's not as bad as a tattoo but it's worse than waxing yes yeah for okay. sure there is a yeah. it's a level of discomfort those, totally. all, those all sound painful yeah <laughs> yeah and i mean and depending on like what you're getting you know sometimes you're going on the butthole <laughs> you're going on the labia like you're doing the whole thing not just like the sides yeah. you're going for it so i did her treatment like whatever um we're done and you give them a box of wipes to like, yeah, baby clean wipe. Up. Clean, clean yourself up. Yeah, you clean know? yourself up. Yeah, you, you mess. Yeah, get, get <laughs> out of here. So, and you leave, and then usually she leaves the room, and you say goodbye. She has her clothes on, and then you go back and you clean the room. <laughs> so I walk back in the room, and there, like a present left for me, is it just a fucking turd in her <laughs> like gown. She pooped on the table. And oh, now thinking like, back, <laughs> I'm like, how did this happen? Because yes. did she stand on the table to poop? Because I didn't think about it at the time because I think I was so shocked. But now I'm like, the logistics kind of are baffling to me. 
because there's no way she could have squeezed it out while I was doing the treatment. Yeah. So she definitely pooped after. So she was conscious of pooping. Like she knew she was leaving me a poop. She couldn't just get dressed and go to the bathroom. It's not like there wasn't a bathroom in that place. Or just throw away the gown. Yeah. Or that. I mean. Clean up your mess. She left it. And so the worst part was like, I went back in and I saw it. And you know what it is, but you are almost like. Is your that, brain, yeah, you're is like, that <laughs> really what I'm seeing right now? Yeah. So I had a coworker. Is that my tip? <laughs> I know. Is that my tip? A poop? Like, no, oh, thanks. Um, is there gold inside that? Yeah, no. exactly. Jeez. <laughs> but um, my coworker uh, was from Ireland. And it didn't matter what your name was. She called everybody Pat. So <laughs> <laughs> she was like, everybody's name was Pat. So I walk out and I'm like, hey, Deb. Because I'm like, if I... Ask another person, another human, to see this. You need some visual confirmation maybe, like, to make yeah, sure. Yeah, and I'll like maybe I don't feel so lonely <laughs> having this situation happen to me. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, can you come in here and just look at this? So she comes in, she goes, wow, scene is believing, scene is believing, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it, she pooped, right? And she was like, oh my god. So then she sticks her head out of the door where all oh the god. other estheticians are, and she was like, come to Pat's room. She got a present. Someone shut the table. Scene is believing, scene is believing. <laughs> Holy that's a terrible <laughs> Irish accent, by right. the way. But that's yeah. That's how she sounded. Yeah, that's how she sounded in my brain. That is like, fucking crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I like because you have to write notes on every client, like the settings that you use. And I was like, this one shits. Like, <laughs> I wonder if she ever came back. <laughs> I don't know. I That's, did not follow should. up on that. I know people who've worked at like fancy places on the Upper East Side, like estheticians, who say that one, they're like these rich ass ladies who get their makeup done once a week and keep it on yes. for the entire week. Hmm. And then other ladies who like will go for waxing and like that kind of those kind of treatments. And it looks like they haven't cl- wiped or cleaned down there. Like they haven't showered in yes. days and just let shit stains happen. Well, that's why we provide the wipes. But yeah. there were there will be sometimes where people are like I don't need it. And I'm like, no, but you do. Yes. Just just please humor me and like do it. There are so many people, though, like when we would do um, I'm thinking about this now who really don't know how to wipe their ass like I think if I'm going somewhere and someone's checking me out down there or I'm doing any kind of treatment uh, I'm going in clean yeah. I'm like yes using a mirror to make sure there's nothing down Minty there fresh. Yes. yeah but there would be so many people who would come with like dingleberries in their butt uh. and you're just like well, well you know you gotta try it a little this harder a lot of rich people are disgusting yes <laughs> Celebrities too. Celebrities Ugh. too. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, but how can you walk around to, with a dingleberry? When you're used to someone kissing your ass all day, you're like, I'm not wiping this thing. <laughs> I'm not so. wiping it. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it was bad. Yeah. Fuck, that's so disgusting. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god, it's left it there. But like, did this person come back? I don't remember. I was like, I don't know. Pro- like, I draw the line is shitting. I know. Like, Sorry, like, guys. Ah. Call me crazy. I but. was like, I do not want to take this person again, but. I mean, probably she came back. She had sessions like that. I mean, unless that was her last session, yeah. she was like, ha ha. She's like, fuck this place. Fuck this place. But, that's, that's okay. G- God forbid you shit your pants and that feeling of being so gross down there. But then there are people who actually just go in the toilet and don't wipe properly. And they have dingleberries walking around all day. Like, how are they not an itchy, disgusting mess? What yeah, is that's wrong their, with that's, people? That's their normal. That's Ugh. their normal. That's their, that's their baseline. Base level. Yeah, that's <laughs> their, <laughs> totally. That's their, it doesn't itch enough. <laughs> yeah. It's oh not enough. God. It's like it's a little itchy, but it's not like... Yeah. It's not like terrible. Yeah, that's pretty gross. <laughs> that's but. pretty gross. Okay. And then I have another work story. So, but not about, but not about that place. Yeah. So when I was younger, like every artist that goes to college I worked at a Barnes and Noble as a bookshelver <laughs> you know like nice and um we've all worked at retail oh, Jesus I did Sam Goody yeah yeah Golden Swirl I did Golden Swirl and Barnes and Noble <laughs> what's Golden Swirl it's frozen yogurt uh. yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds it would have been a great something else Golden Swirl <laughs> yeah that sounds like a fancy shit I know right <laughs> seriously <laughs> Um, but so, you know, like when you're a bookshelver, like y- you are shelving books, you're helping people, you're doing the like cash wrap, whatever. And, um, 
I remember they were like, oh, you know, you have bathroom duty where you have to go and like check the bathroom. And usually you're checking the bathroom because people will bring in super expensive books and leave them in the bathroom, like what? for their shitting entertainment. What? Yes. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, and so you're like taking the books out. I mean, I don't know if it's that way now. Maybe but that's they've... even crazier because somebody eventually will buy that super expensive book that has mm-hmm. other people's fecal matter all over it. Well, and what is wrong with true? people? Like we put it on. I mean, is that really surprising? Like, is this, is this really surprising? <laughs> like, none of this is actually no, it's shocking. Not. I mean, like, no, 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 not at 2020, all. 2020, none of this is shocking. <laughs> no, not shocking. I'm like, I'm surprised this happened. Like it happens all you the time. You gotta lysol the book you just bought. Yeah, like, oh. Oh. it's like a plastic glove. You're like, here you go. Ugh. 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 Disgusting. So they were like, hey, we have a situation in the bathroom. Can you go and clean it up? So I'm like, okay, books in the bathroom, whatever. I go in, I look in the first two stalls, nothing, and I'm like, what? I go in the back stall, which is the biggest. <laughs> someone shit in the book. Did someone shit in the book. <laughs> I mean, that would have been better. Actually, that would I would have been okay with that. This was, I don't know how to say like shit graffiti. Oh, oh. So, someone shit and took their poop and wrote "fuck you" oh my God. in the stall. <laughs> And I was like, and it was like, and a they pretty, wanted you to clean it up. Yeah, I was like, oh hell no! Oh my god, no! The new guy, <laughs> you know, like I, I was like, I don't even know where to begin. I was looking at it like, I, I can't, I can't do this. Like no, so oh yeah, we we'll close that door. Instantly. I was like, like nope, uh, I quit. Uh, yeah, so that was the moment I became a cafe member of Starbucks. I was like, I quit the ca- I quit shelving books. I'm going to I'm going to work in the cafe oh slinging drinks. Oh my god. No, no fuck you. I did. I was like, That's fuck you. No fuck you. Know, you. That, that was probably someone that was probably the person that had your job before. You I know, right? To- He's like, haha. <laughs> but I mean, think about it. That's like you have to be in there a long time one. Yeah. You got to know you got your shitting. And you're you got to make sure that you have person. a big enough shit to mm-hmm. write fuck you cuz even yeah. though it seems like not a lot when yeah. you're working with shit. That's a lot of text for shit. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of poop, you yeah. know. It sounds gotta, like you did it, Tina. Oh, you had geez. I know I'm like <laughs> was, it fuck a, you. was it a sans serif or a serif? Know, know. <laughs> <laughs> or Trump's insane writing, the like big block letters uh, yeah. for him to be able to read his own notes oh cuz he's blind. Oh my god. That's yeah. that's so disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh Ugh. my that god! That was like, ah, uh, yeah. That I might was... be our first. <laughs> <laughs> In that's fifty-seven so... episodes, we haven't heard of anybody writing with their poo. Oh, that's, that's our a good first. One. Wow, poo graffiti. <laughs> it's a new thing. Let me tell you. You're our first up poo graffiti. <laughs> Grishiti. Grishiti. <laughs> oh. I was thinking you were going to say, because like people who have like splatter poo sometimes in mm. public bathrooms, they'll hover and it'll just like splatter everywhere. And so, but I did not think. I thought think, for sure you were going to be like someone shit all over a book or something. I mean, that would have been easier to clean. I yeah. just would have taken thrown a book out the book and like, thrown it away. I mean, Part of me would have been like, if I saw that fuck you written in shit, I probably would have started like, that's disgusting. And then but I kind of knew the how they time. felt. Because yeah. I was like, you know, fuck you. Yeah. Sorry, Barnes and Noble. But yeah, fuck you. That's that's a, that's a disgruntled either ex-employee, <laughs> author, or someone something happened at the, at the cashier because yeah. like, that's But crazy. the person who found it and then made you go in there, yes. first of all, that person have been like should have been like, all right, the store is officially closed. Everybody out. I would have called probably like nine one one or some professional service. I would have locked the doors, up. but no one's leaving here until we figure out. Also, <laughs> Who like this? the amount of shit that must have been oh, in that person's dude. hand, like oh. in her fingernails and shit. Ah. That is so disgusting. Yeah, no, it was pretty. It was bad. so disturbing. That was pretty bad. It's like Marquis de Sade. Have you guys seen that movie? No, with Jeffrey Rush. It's so good. But basically, he like. They take everything away from him in the end. He's writing all his dirty stories with his poo on the walls. Uh, <laughs> uh. Fucked up repugnant shit. <laughs> it just is. It's a great movie. Oh my oh. god. That was terrible. Um, wow, that was a fucking that was yeah. fantastic. Well, here you were talking about hot like splatter poop. This I think this is my last one. <laughs> or no, I have like one more after that. No, no, no. Um, keep them coming. So that did happen to me. And what I will say is, is before that ever happened to me... With the splatter poo? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Spray I would, fart. I've like seen, you know, when you go into a, like a disgusting bathroom and you like see poop in a way that you're like, how the fuck did that person? <laughs> how did it get up there? Get there. How did poop get there? <laughs> like what is happening in here? Like that a poop got there. And you never think you're like, that's not real or someone's flinging it or like, you know, you're just like the, the butt cannot produce that. Like, you oh, know. Oh, yes, it can. I just oh. thought of something epic to do for a, for a, a segment after you tell the story <laughs> okay um so anyways it's saint patrick's day we're in uh providence rhode island we just had this like family dinner or whatever i don't even know what i ate we decide me and my husband to go we're gonna go down into like the center downtown providence and um go i don't know celebrate saint patty's day whatever but on the car ride down i'm like I don't feel great. Mm. You know how like you start to not (laughs) feel okay? But I was like, but can I like, I can like, but I wasn't sure if it was like down there or it was like something in my stomach, but I was like, didn't really know what was happening. So by the time we park the car and we get out, I turn to my husband. I'm like, I got to go to the bathroom. (laughs) (laughs) Like, I got to go. You know, a little bit of sweat starting to form and come down. I'm like, I got to go. But it's worse because it's St. Patty's. So like... Everywhere's packed. Everywhere's packed. So there's either... The bathrooms are broke because... Everybody's, Everyone has already used them. Ugh. Or there's like mega lines and I'm like, I can't wait in line. Like, I just don't think I can do that. So we're kind of like <laughs> running around the streets like, where is the best place oh to go? God. And I'm like scanning. And I see that because of like, maybe they had a parade, I don't know, but there's porta potties. Mm. And I was like, uh. all right, whatever, I'll yeah. just do it. I don't care. But it's dark outside. <laughs> so you know the thing porta potties don't come with? Lights. is a light <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the part is the worst <laughs> it's the worst but i was like i gotta i don't have a choice so i go in and i'm like shut the door but you can't see anything so i'm like ah oh, i gotta like you know i pull out my phone and i turn on the light so i can just sort of like see mm-hmm. and you're like hovering over the toilet you know and you go to the bathroom and i'm like okay all right, I feel much better. And I knew it was like a little liquidy, but I, I didn't like, you know, didn't like, no, no. And so I'm looking for the toilet paper. I get the toilet paper. And then I don't know why, but like, I, because I, I think I turn to the side, you know, like mm-hmm. the thing is here and I turn to the side to like wipe because mm-hmm. you're not really ever sitting down. You're just yeah. hovering. And then I like went to throw the toilet paper in this toilet yeah. hole and I show with my light. This just is like a like, horror story <laughs> or a movie. I shit all over the back panel <laughs> of the border body. Oh and I God. was like in disbelief for a minute. I was like, nah. <laughs> because I was like, How you are that, that person. We I am about. that person. I'm wow. that guy. Me. Right here sitting in this chair. <laughs> I was in disbelief, but then I was like, it it's had like to... It's like X-Files. It's like a light going over this <laughs> like, like, scene. You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like in shock. And I was like, but it was like on the seat all the way up. Oh. And I was like <laughs> looking at it like, oh no. Oh no. Like, I don't know what to do. But you know what? At least it was in a porta potty. At As on St. Patrick's Day, so they're gonna like, they can just drunk. blow it up. Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> like exactly, just melt it down, <laughs> melt it down, <laughs> blow it up, whatever. But I like was like, but we've all walked into those porta potties after yes. that person, and now you'll now always we've met, we've met my one. Face. <laughs> and now we've met one. <laughs> like Tina was in here. Holy How dare shit. her? And you weren't even drinking yet. <laughs> no, I mean maybe I had wine. I don't know, but like, yeah. Did you tell your husband after that? Oh, he knew what was oh. happening because I think he heard me like ah, ah <laughs> like he's in like, the bathroom, like what? And like the flashlight fucking moving all like, over. He's the- like slowly walking away from the porta potty. I don't know this woman. <laughs> I, don't, I like, don't know what's you're happening like, you're in like, there. Honey, like, you're like who? I don't what? know who that is. Uh. Well, the worst is like your face with the situation. Like I don't. I was like, do I leave it? Do I clean it up? Oh, you and you look no, and like you and in porta potties, there's not a lot of options for toilet paper. Mm-hmm. So I, it was like. 
that you know oh my god there wasn't a lot there wasn't enough to like clean it up <laughs> So I was like, well, I can like smear it, oh, no. I guess. Oh my God, this is so awful. But then I, all I have, because there's no sink, I'm yeah. just going to have like hand sanitizer. So I was like, I got to leave it. Yes. Yeah, that, yes, that, that's, that's, that's it. the correct choice. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you feel, feel if you were like you in a public awful, bathroom where bad. there's a sink, there's a different story. Look, but people... Yeah. Things people do things in life, and you know, every, every, look, I'm glad we, you're making me feel okay. Yeah, well, we, about we, this. We've all done things that are just like, wow, that's 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 really bad what I just did. But oh. what are you gonna do when you're, when you're out in the you know field like that? You can't be like, you know what? Let me come back later. When it, you, yes, it's just like it's some look a porta potty is just like the worst place on earth. So, dude. that yeah. porta potty has seen things. And it's seen things. Been through things that like no human should ever have to. Dude, well, I came out and I was trying to figure <laughs> out how to lock the lock. So when I walked out, it would just automatically lock. So oh, you're being no so one considerate. <laughs> could ever go back in. But no, it doesn't. You those can't. people who open that door, they went, Whoa, nope, next nope. one. Or if they're drunk enough, they're like, ah, fuck it. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I, that that is so oh my god. <laughs> Maybe someone cleaned it off with their pee. Who could say? Oh, yeah. it's dark here. You're like, what? It's worse if you just like you walk in. You like don't see. You're like, what the? Fuck? It's dark. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Like, I was it's like, it's dark. Ugh. You know what? You just gotta chalk that up to like, hey, I'll I'll leave an extra tip for somebody or something. Dude. Like, I'll do something. I'll pay it forward somewhere else. I'll pay it for it. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my no, god, that's totally. horrible. Oh, so bad. And I I can't even. I think I came out and told it. Um, Jameson like what happened he was like mm-hmm. like, <laughs> You're like you uh, want to see my work <laughs> I know would you like I, I clearly take a look <laughs> but I was like I can't believe that you know like your butt can produce that well like that before you tell your last story I was thinking as you were telling this the spray shit and like how you look at these these pictures or videos like how the fuck did that get up on the wall like how yeah so I want to do for this show and I guess this is more this is like later on if we have a TV show. It's phase two. <laughs> it's more visual, but yes. I'd like to hire like one of those like Dexter, like those blood splatter. Yes. A forensic person to figure out like, okay, how, what? like how the fuck did it get up on the floor? <laughs> oh my God. Because the only, the only way, like, besides, <laughs> the, besides the, like, the packing a dummy full of shit and just like exploding up into a wall. You gotta have the right, um, the right kind of shit that would be with so, the right kind of spray. How, how, how awesome. I would watch, that show would be so funny. Like that, that, that segment. That's like Mythbusters. Yeah. It'd be like myth, <laughs> yes. Shitbusters. Shitbusters. <laughs> Because like I want to know all those things. <laughs> oh my God, I would I mean, watch this in a second. <laughs> the science behind it, like yeah. your, your ass had the to trajectory. be here. The trajectory of like how you made it up that far. They have like, those like you know, see like the bullet like you know, like they have those lines, those little red strings <laughs> yeah. that go from like with the cones, like all that shit. I want to know because. I mean, besides the obvious, like someone was a fucking asshole and stood in the toilet and lifted her ass up. Because I don't know how that happens. Like, I mean, I wasn't like standing on it. I yeah. just was hovering, squatting. Yeah. So I was like, I, I don't know how that it's probably worked some, out. It probably hit some like splash thing and like just hit the and just bounced back. I don't know, <laughs> but like I, that would be hilarious to get like a forensics person to come like, in and do that. I would laugh oh, my ass off if I saw that. Yeah. Can you? We're like, doing that. I wonder if like <laughs> any police people have had to do that at a murder scene. Like maybe you know because like mm. sometimes people kill people and like throw up afterwards and then they or get the DNA themselves. or shit oh. themselves. Or, like you know, I'm, if we can find some cops out there who will tell us about diarrhea on the job. Yeah. <laughs> I know a first. I know a, a friend of a friend who shoots. Um, like crime scenes and everything. Oh, so probably, could, probably ask talk to him. her. Yeah, about that because you know, like, especially in your anxiety and your gut, and you can, when you're murdering somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gotta get this over with. Well, this would have been the well, perfect murder until person, I had diarrhea. This person stabbed the victim and then <laughs> clearly evacuated their bowels right after. That must have been their first. We see all the time. Must have been their first murder. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh, that'd be so oh, funny. Oh. Oh. So bad. All right, my last story that I saved. Um, this is a funny one. So I almost missed my flight because of... A shit? Yes. Uh, it happened. I've yeah. been there, yep. But in a foreign country, I was in China. Oh, you were already somewhere. I was already somewhere. So I had gone... So we went with like um, a group of like a whole bunch of friends. I think there was like 10 of us or whatever for our friend's birthday. Um, she's from... Uh, Thailand so we went to Thailand mm -hmm. we went back we went to this epic house had like this awesome weekend like I think we were there for a week whatever we're coming back and we had multiple flights and we're all sort of like flying together 
Well, during, I can't remember if it was during, I think it was during this trip, we dubbed my husband Crisis Dumper. (laughs) 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 Because we, one of the things that we did was uh, we went on this boat, like my friend arranged this boat tour, whatever, and like we had been drinking the night before. So we get on the bus and the bus was like a short ride. It was like 30 minutes and everyone had to use the bathroom. Like before you get on the bus, we get on the bus and immediately we're on the bus for five, 10 minutes and Jameson's sweating in back. Ooh. And he's like, mm. I gotta go to the bathroom. And so we pull over and like he came prepared. You know how he is. He had like a baggie with toilet paper, hand sanitizer, everything. And he was just like ran out. So we're like, crisis dump. Cause we were like, we just left the house. <laughs> like you couldn't have, like what yeah. happened? So we dubbed him as that. So and at any rate, so that's coming off of the tail end of that trip. And I think we had flown from Bangkok and now we were in Hong Kong. And we got off the plane and we had like a very short window to basically run through the Hong Kong airport to make our next plane to come home. And so my friends are running and he's like, yo, you're lagging. And I'm like, I got to go. I'm not going to make it. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to poop my pants. Like I got to, I got to stop to go to the bathroom. And he was like, girl, I'll meet you at the terminal. Cause he was it's like, like I know it's like, I'm out of here. I'll meet you at the terminal, like whatever. And I was like, I got to stop. So I go and I run in and I have my bag and there's no like, I guess standard toilets, whatever you would call it. Like, like all, squatter, squatter yeah, ones? all those stalls were spoken for. Oh, and I had been warned that there were holes in. So I, I like knew, but I, I <laughs> you have this moment where you're like, oh, it's so bad. I like went in and there's a hole on the ground. I'm like trying to put my shit up, like my bag. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, pull down your pants so you don't go on your pants or whatever. Yeah and poop in this tiny hole. And I I was just like, I, I just gotta go. And I, I probably unleashed like all this like, ah, you Fury. know, but I just was like, I can't help it. I can't help it. Yeah. I gotta get it out. So <laughs> look, and I gotta get on my plane. So I release it and I'm like, oh, I made it. And then I look and I'm like, oh my God. So I had to wash my hands, get my pants on, grab my shit and run through and just barely made my flight like my husband was sitting in the chair like we're gonna gonna leave you in china yeah pretty much he's just like fuck you he's like i'm I'm out of here we're out of here imagine the person taking the ticket was probably like "Hmm, get stuck in the bathroom (laughs) i know right you're probably the 10th person in the plane that happened to you it's like fuck dude Uh, for time's sake we're gonna skip let's get shitty we're gonna go right into news but since Tina has this fantastic gong, we're gonna do a little like sampling of some of her work, some of her techniques, if yes. you will. And that's gonna play that's gonna be our sort of intro play into let's get or I'm um, sorry, the news. Yes. <laughs> yes. So right. whenever you're ready. All right, here we go. think I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> yeah, so far, my, my, my underwear seems clean. <laughs> Brown But that's down. amazing. That's yeah. I, love, I love that sort of, I love that, that little piece he just yeah. did right there. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So that's going to go right into our news. Yes. So this person is the, really epitomizes the true meaning of the word mass hole. <laughs> um, this story comes from Natick. Massachusetts, um, from the station WHDH, uh, the police had arrested a 51-year-old woman uh, 
a 50 year old, 51 year old Ashland woman. I don't know where Ashland is in Massachusetts, but she's from there. And she had been repeatedly defecating in a parking lot at a sporting goods store. <laughs> um, Andrea Grosser was arraigned um, in Natick District Court on eight counts of wanton destruction of property. This is so wow. great. Eight yeah, counts. man. Yes. Um, they, the police had launched an investigation um, into this alleged behavior in December after this person, Henry Canner, the owner of Natick Outdoor Store in North Avenue, or on North Avenue, reported he kept finding piles of human feces in the parking lot <laughs> on a routine like basis. Oh, my so God. So piles. Human, owner of this store, this guy's trying to make a living. He goes out and he's like, who is shitting in my parking lot? <laughs> To the point where he called the cops. Like, that's crazy. He called the cops. Did so, they find a... Reli- like, did she shop there and was displeased I, and... Well, they thought it was an animal initially. Ooh, okay. But then they said the bowel movements were caught on surveillance camera. <gasps> and But the license plate of the suspect was um, was hidden from the view. Which Ooh. is pretty smart on her point, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They're going to catch me. I know. Um, they basically kept upping the patrols in the neighborhood. And they eventually found the person, the serial shitter. <laughs> oh, they didn't say shitter. They said serial pooper in the act. They caught her. Cereal, they, yeah. they caught her in the act. Oh, yeah. And the same. Was she doing lot? this at yeah. night, right? Or no, this was at. Um, they said they spotted her grocer. I'm um, getting ready to use the bathroom in the parking lot. Use the bathroom. They're, they just say they. She was getting. She was getting ready to drop a deuce in the parking oh. lot around 6:51 a.m. Okay. So early morning. Early wow. morning. I mean, there could be people commuting, or I don't know. So the police are they're super puzzled by why like she'd been doing this but she is um due in court in march oh they don't find out why i mean she didn't give a reason wow. so hopefully if she's I, like i really just enjoy the smell <laughs> that comes through yeah. the mini mall or where the strip mall at this like we, we've done articles where people who are jogging every day they end up pooping in the same place on their jog which is annoying because sometimes yeah. that's been in people's property yeah. or we had our one friend bob who's as a kid loved shitting from the top of a tree he would climb the tree and what? poop yeah, take a so dump. I'm wondering why. That feels wow. freeing. Yes. That seems very personal. Yes. Yeah. You know, like something maybe happened. Especially if she was in a car. Like, she could have gone anywhere. Yeah. Well, she chose this parking lot. <laughs> she, that that so, was her favorite. Over and over. And her, her, over her, and over. Her um, mug shot is this horrendous. Oh, I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she looks like shit in this uh, picture. She's totally crying and everything. But um, we'll show she this on. Uh, we'll, we'll put this on um, oh, Instagram. Wow. Well. She's just like... Got the whole cry face. <laughs> She's like <laughs> ugly crying. Like, eh. Yeah, Andrea Grosser. So, but I mean, 50, she doesn't look homeless uh, 50, or anything. No, and she's fifty-one. So she, that's she that's just so personal. No better. Something must have happened between her and the owner. I'm that's guessing. what I'm thinking. Like that's what I would. If I was a detective, I'd be like, "There's something going on here." Yeah, he's Which, like an ex-boyfriend. Could you imagine how small your town is where you're like, you're just presenting extra patrols to patrol a fucking sporting goods <laughs> parking lot where well, that's the big news? somebody's pooping. We gotta yeah. figure out who the serial shitter is. If I can remember, we have to follow up the story and see if there's a, a reason given for this. I that think is, it's I think it's just some funny. kind of disgruntled thing. I think it's gotta maybe she's, be. Maybe, maybe she lives next door to the guy and, the, and the, maybe his dog's shitting in her lawn. She's like, you know what? Guess what's gonna happen, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. He's shitting this motherfucker's. I mean, this... <laughs> Well, they found piles of human feces. I love that. But That's also, hilarious. like, she had to save it up. So yeah. if, if she's going at 6 in the morning there, 6.20, whatever, she obviously knows she has to go. Yeah. She's taking the over. time to get in her yep. car and driving. She's that mm-hmm. far away. Or, I mean, depends. I mean, she's, doing, she's, like having, like, she's going to work. And on the on way, to, way work, to work, she, she t- took her coffee. The floodgates are opening up. She's like, here's my perfect spot. <laughs> and she just thinks that she's found the yeah. best area. Who knows? Wow. I'm really curious about like, wow, they didn't, there wasn't really a reason I given. Mean, uh, so she's just kind of crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to say that because that's, you know, that's not like super normal behavior. No. Um, but yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. If it happened once, it's like, that's just like an emergency. Happens, yeah. But if you're a repeat serial shitter. Yeah. I mean, they said that they, they thought it was an animal, but then they, they had, due to like all the shitting, they found like TP and wipes nearby. So she was shitting in the parking lot and then cleaning herself up somewhere close by and just tossing it around. Wow. But that's a lot of work. Yeah, that's it a is. lot of work. Like, just bring a bag. It's so personal, though. It's so <laughs> personal. I feel like, yeah. Like, that's she like, left that there for display. I oh, feel yeah. Like. She wanted someone to see that. Yeah. 
Or she's like, I want to get caught. I don't know. He's your one. <laughs> I can't stop shitting in this parking lot. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh. Well, Tina. Yeah. Thank, you, oh. you had some amazing stories. Oh, yeah, you did. So delightful. Thank you for being on the show. No, so good to be that here. That was so much fun. Yay. And um, where can we find you? Oh, you can uh, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, Christina Lovely Reiki, R-E-I-K-I. Um, and then that kind of just tells, I mean, I have a website, christinalovely.com, but that doesn't say anything right. I do. I have to fix that. Okay. Um, but you can find sound baths. Hey, maybe we'll do like a special gong bath. Yeah. And see, I'm, try I'm, to get into this I would like brown to volunteer. Note. Yeah, like, I mean, I'll put some kind of like, you know. All right. I'll double, I'll, I'll put some kind of shorts on or something that, you know. <laughs> it depends. Yeah. Or I'll just yeah, stand yeah. up and be like, I got to shit. I got to go, go now. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in. All right, totally let's in. do it. Well, yes. yes, that'd be fun. And on the way out, do you mind hitting us with some more gong stuff? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you, Tina. You're welcome. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Happy pooping. Thank you for listening to Hey Poopy with Dave and Ellen. You can listen to us on platforms like iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, and even YouTube. Subscribe and rate and review and tell all your friends about us. For more info about Hey Poopy, go to heypoopypodcast.com. You'll find great links on our merch. We have some really cool merch, by the way. Shirts, mugs, cards, bags, all kinds of things. If you have any questions, product reviews you would like us to do, just general emails, we just want to say hello. Email us at heypoopypodcast at gmail.com. And you can also go on Instagram and check us out there at heypoopypodcast. You'll see all the fun toilet pics, anything fart and poop related. So if you have any extra submissions you want to you know, show us or things that you think are funny, just let us know and we'll, we'll post it for you. Hey Poopy Podcast is produced by Dave and Ellen. With executive producer Stormy Leather, edited by Dave. Theme song by Jordan Pearlson. Hey Poopy. Oh, that one's gross. <laughs> Very wet. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Hey Poopy, how you doing? Hey Poopy, how you doing? I'm a, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to find a place with black mother people talk about like my other things about me or about poop and stuff hey poopy how you doing hey poopy how you doing oh man what's this right here is this, this a podcast about poop